In part two of step two of building a West Coast drivetrain, we will describe how to use JVN's mechanical design calculator. This is a spreadsheet you can download from a link in the description and is used to determine what gearbox and gear ratios you should use in your drivetrain. To use the JVN calculator, you must first determine what gearbox you are using. Then select the gearbox from the tabs at the bottom of the spreadsheet. There are multiple calculators for different gearboxes. For West Coast Drive, VexPro 2 and 3 SIM ball shifting gearboxes and West Coast product dual speed and single speed gearboxes are easier. The product links are on the calculator spreadsheet. Next, input the combination of motors you are using. This can be a combination of SIMs and mini SIMs. This is very important because it determines what amperage the drivetrain will pull. If you put too high of a ratio in a gearbox, the motors will not have enough torque to turn the gears. This will put too much strain on the electronic components of the motor and burn it out. The amperage pulled by the gearbox is given in the calculator. Input the diameter of the wheel you are using. This, in addition to the gear ratios you choose, is part of what determines the speed of the drivetrain in high or low gear. Also input the coefficient of friction for the wheels, which is usually listed on the manufacturer's website. This tells you how much traction your wheels will have and will help with acceleration and overall speed. Input the weight of your robot. This is defaulted to 154 pounds for the max legal weight of 120 pounds plus 20 pound bumpers and a 14 pound battery. Input the weight on driven wheels. This is basically how much of the weight of your robot is sitting on driven wheels or wheels that turn with the motor either by being directly on the output shaft or chained to the output shaft. If you have a six wheel robot but only the center wheel on either side is actually driven, then the weight on driven wheels would be 33.33%. Now this is assuming the weight on your robot is evenly distributed among all wheels. In West Coast Drive, all wheels are driven, so this stays at 100% as long as they are all chained together. Input initial reduction. The size of the first gear is uniform across the two or three motors in the gearbox, and the ratio from these motors to the first stage gear is important. The numbers in the ratio are numbers of teeth on the gear, and determine whether the ratio will have more torque or a higher speed. If the number is lower, that means that the larger gear, with more teeth, will spin less times per revolution of the smaller gear, but will have more torque when it spins. Vice versa, if the larger number is first, the smaller gear will spin more per revolution of the larger gear, but with less torque. With West Coast product single speed and dual speed gearboxes, and Vex Pro 2 and 3 SIM ball shifter gearboxes, there are set ratios you can buy to put on the stages of the gearbox. If you choose to use a custom gearbox, you can use whatever gear ratios you need. JVN's mechanical design calculator provides a calculator for this. If you have a shifting gearbox, choose between high and low gear ratios. If you are using a single speed gearbox, there will only be one option here, called the second stage gearing. In a shifting gearbox, you can shift from one ratio to another by use of a dog gear, which can lock onto the shaft in different positions and can move to engage or disengage a gear ratio by use of a pneumatic piston. These are generally used to switch between a higher ratio for more speed and a lower ratio for more torque and pushing power. When ratios are stacked like this, for example, a 12 to 42 stacked on a 24 to 50, you can figure out how many rotations the motor will need to make to turn the output shaft one rotation. You simply take each ratio and divide the output by the input. For example, 42 divided by 12 and 50 divided by 24 then multiply them together. In this example, you end up with a 7.29 to 1 overall ratio, meaning that the motors need to turn 7.29 times to turn the output shaft one full rotation. The above calculations are performed automatically by the calculator. However, it's still important to know how they work so you can better determine what gear ratios you need to attain a desired speed on your robot. Do this for each of the high and low gear options on a West Coast product dual speed or single speed gearbox. If you're using a VEX Pro ball shifter gearbox, only one additional ratio is needed because of the way the gearbox shifts between gears. Next, input any external reductions. 
External reductions are any additional changes to the ratio that occur outside the gearbox. For instance, the ratios in the gears can also be created by using different sized sprockets and chaining them together. If you so wished, you could further reduce or increase the ratio outside of the gearboxes by doing this, but this is not a good idea in a drivetrain because of the added weight and complexity. In a West Coast drivetrain, all of the wheels are chained together so they are all driven. If one wheel is turning at a different speed than the others, because the ratio of the sprockets is different, it will cause one wheel to drag behind or to push the others, creating strain on the gearbox. Because of this, leave the external reductions at 1 to 1 when calculating for a West Coast drivetrain. Play around with the ratios until the desired speed is attained. The output speeds are calculated on the sheet using all of the information inputted above. There are two numbers given, drivetrain free speed and real life speed. The difference between these is that free speed is how fast the robot would go in perfect conditions with no load on the wheels and no loss of speed due to external forces. Real life speed is about how fast the robot will go on the ground with external forces and the weight of the robot acting on the drivetrain. Change the ratios until the speeds are about what you need for your drivetrain and then you're done. All of the ratios given are available to purchase from VEX Pro, except if you are using a custom gearbox. If this is your first time building a West Coast drivetrain, it is suggested that you purchase a gearbox from VEX Pro or West Coast Products because they are modular and easy to assemble.